years ago. Buddy Walter Murphy. Tonight, after 20 years, he made good on that promise. He delivered a ring and a message to his friend's high school sweetheart. CNN's Jeff Flock reports on the end of a long search. This is the way Robert Bono remembers the Vietnam War, his own 8mm films. Tank fire, choppers, bombs, death. The faces of the Vietnamese people and those of his friends, like Walter Murphy. Murphy came up to me and said he had something very important for me to do for him. And he uh, told me that he wanted me to give this ring to his girlfriend, that he was going to die. Two weeks later, Murphy was dead. And all Robert Bono knew was that he had to find a blonde California girl named Dorothy. It took 20 years, but he finally did. Oh, oh, Robert! <laughs> uh -oh. With an assist from columnist Bob Green, who wrote of Bono's search, the two were united for the first time. I'm just happy to be here and meet the man that's waited to meet me for 20 years, and I've been... This is at long last love, huh? <laughs> this was an important to Murphy, and I'm glad I could do it for him. Bono kept running into brick walls trying to find Dorothy until he tried one last thing, painting a picture of Murphy himself and another buddy from the war. That canvas, whether it took one month or 20 years more, would eventually find someone that recognized Murphy, and I would have, I would have, I knew that the canvas would eventually lead me to his girl. Bono's art, like this sculpture of a friend who won the Congressional Medal of Honor in Vietnam, has helped him deal with his war experience. The Murphy painting was something he felt he had to do. My arm is the only thing that broaches the ring, and um, brings the past to the present. Bono says there was never a doubt that this moment. Would come. He was in love with uh, someone, and he wanted that someone to know that, and he wanted that someone to be free and uh, live a happy, healthy life. And um, that was what he wanted me to say. And so he said it to the now 37-year-old Dorothy Hughes, who in all the years since she knew Walter Murphy, has never married. It was a strong love at first, and it, I don't think love ever dies, and this love never did, and it never will die. I'm Jeff Flock, CNN, at O'Hare Airport in Chicago.